What's up you guys? Good morning. I'm drinking my coffee here this morning and I want to discuss about the New York Rangers new alternate jersey that was leaked yesterday. I literally just got up bedhead and freaking everything to record this video. I was going to record it last night but I watched the Canucks game and I got pretty busy so I just didn't get around to doing it which actually gave me time to kind of reflect on the jersey and give kind of my honest opinion on it here this morning. I had an opinion last night about it and it kind of shifted a little bit once I actually got to see the jersey a little bit more. So I think it was kind of a good thing. But before we get into it, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed and liked the video if you enjoyed. Let's take a look at this thing. So the rumor a few months ago were that the New York Rangers were going to base their jersey on one of their reverse retros. They were essentially going to do what the Minnesota Wild did and bring back their reverse retro, just maybe with a change or two, and then have that as a full-time reverse retro i wasn't sure which one it was going to be it could have been the dark one that they had for the reverse retro one or it could have been the lighter one that they had for the reverse retro two but the main thing about it is people were really excited because they got to use the statue of liberty logo people really liked that liberty logo and that would have been used because that was on the reverse retro two and that was the number one thing i think people were really excited about but well, if you guys have not seen the photos yet of this leaked jersey it does not have that logo on it i'm going to put it up on the screen here i'm going to pull it up on my phone so i can also take a look here is the front of the jersey we have it on the screen here and there is a, actually like a lot to dissect here there's a lot going on first of all the color of the jersey i love like, I do really like that dark blue color that they used on here. I think it looks really sweet. It's like the same dark blue they used in the Reverse Retro 1. So, I mean, that kind of lines up, I guess. But that's pretty much it. Another thing I like, but I've been seeing rumors that... They're not really rumors, but I've just been seeing around that a lot of people don't. And that is the actual New York Rangers logo on the front of the jersey. I think for an alternate, this makes so much sense. I mean, it's their logo. Just their home and aways don't use it, and it's their actual logo, so it should be on one jersey that they wear, you would think. And I think it makes the most sense to have it on their alternate if they're not going to have it on their home and away. I will admit, it does look really odd seeing this logo on a jersey, because I just, I don't know if they've ever done it before, to be honest. I mean, I have to look back, but like, it doesn't seem like they do this very often. So it does look really, really weird. Now the striping. Okay, there's a lot to dissect here. You got the three stripes on the bottom of the torso. Now, it's hard to see that there's three stripes because one of them is blue and it's just a little bit of a lighter blue. They have the red, white, and then that little bit lighter blue. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know how I feel about that little bit of a lighter blue at the bottom of the torso there. I think it's just too similar to the blue jersey that it kind of gets lost a little bit i don't know if i'm a big fan of that now the arm striping because holy there's a lot going on here i had somebody say actually in my group chat and i actually think this is actually not a terrible opinion and a terrible thought that these stripes could be kind of based on the lighting outside of msg they have all these colors outside just lit up i'll try to throw a photo on the screen and maybe that's what they're trying to kind of emulate here with the striping and if that's the case i think that's kind of cool uh there's a lot going on in this striping what makes me laugh is this looks like something i would just design on my instagram and post a jersey concept of because i love stripes and sometimes you just run out of ideas so you just throw a ton of stripes on a jersey and call it a day that's kind of what this reminds me of do i hate it no actually for some reason i don't hate it i actually kind of like it there's a lot going on you know you got the solid red stripes in there you got three of them and then you have the the white ones and this is where there becomes a ton you have like a white one two little ones then another white one and then you have the blue kind of like fading out into the jersey almost i think that's kind of cool it kind of like fades out i think that's kind of neat but i don't know how i feel like i i do like it but I don't love it. Back of the collar says blue shirts. I think that looks really cool. It also kind of looks like it has like a brick pattern or almost like something you would see if you're going down the stairs in like a subway. So I think that's really cool as well. I want to talk about my number one thing I'm not a big fan of with this jersey and it's just a design thing. And that is if you look at just the torso and no arms, you see one jersey design. But if you take if you cover the torso and look at the arms, you see a completely other jersey. Like in my opinion, the sleeves and the torso make this thing look like completely different jerseys and i don't think i'm a big fan of that 
In my opinion, I think there should be no striping on the torso of this jersey. I think this jersey should just fade all the way down, and there should just be zero stripage there. I think that would be cool. Let the arms, because the arms are so busy, let the arms be busy, have no stripes on the torso, and just let the jersey just show itself on those crazy stripes on the sleeve. Let me put up a photo of the back of the jersey here, and it just has a Panera and the numbers. The numbers are just straight white. Although it's boring, I do think it looks good. It's very clear, very sharp. It's super easy to read on that dark blue jersey. I think it's actually quite nice. Honestly, I think if they went with any kind of lettering on here or customizations for the numbers, it would just look way too busy as the striping on the arms are just insane. So I think they made a good decision by kind of limiting the customization on the numbers there and just having solid white i also wonder if they considered shoulder patches i think a shoulder patch could look good on here especially if they left the center of the torso kind of just blank have some shoulder patches i think that could look cool i don't know this is not something i expected them to do and i'm sure it's something that a lot of people didn't expect them to do i think it's very kind of shocking that they went this route to be honest what i like about it though not just design wise it's just the principle that this is just so crazy for an original six team and a team that's had some pretty sharp jerseys over the years to come up with something like this i think is actually kind of cool i love new it's one thing if you guys haven't watched the channel for a while or this is when you guys is first time watching uh, i love new jerseys regardless of what it is like i just like when they try something new i like seeing something new over than over like recycled jerseys like over and over again i just would rather new even if it's not great i still would rather new but let me know down in the comments your guys's opinion on this jersey do you guys like it do you guys dislike it rate it from one to ten if i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna give it like a seven i think maybe a six six and a half i'll go six and a half we'll settle at six and a half on this jersey that's what i'm gonna rate it myself i don't think it's one i plan on getting but who knows maybe if it goes on sale at some point because a lot of people don't seem to like it i might snag it just for the fun but yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always if you guys are new it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed and liked the video if you enjoyed i'll talk to you in the next one peace